Welcome to the Simple Minds Podcast, where six mates unpack three topics over a new drink each week. Fuck it, just go with that, we'll fix it if it's... Welcome to the five minute episode (laughs) of Simple Minds. It's one day before summer, guys. Summer is tomorrow. How are we feeling good? Feeling very good. This week's been pretty warm. Monday is going to be hot. Conrad's got his summer shirt on. He has. Oh, here we go. Straight out of the... Al fresco. Straight, straight out of the, uh, the fashion, <laughs> fashion, fashion tips of Hannah. <laughs> He's feeling very Al fresco today. We or, is it, or is it Alfredo? Is it, I don't know. You, why don't you share some of your fashion notes that you would have got from your consultant? <laughs> <laughs> from last week. No one no, making mistakes. <laughs> we didn't find out the, the sort of, you were going to speak to him. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Let's not talk about past episodes. <laughs> Unless you want to fill in time, Conrad, that is. We've already wasted three minutes. Should we just start Let's again? keep going. Let's keep going. Three. 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 Let's welcome the Simpletons for today. We are missing one. That's crazy how we got that Simpleton's name. Is that someone's or is that just Josh? Just Josh. Hey, Josh. <laughs> We're missing Travis. He is currently in Queensland. Gold Coast. Shooting. Oh, Gold Coast. Oh, I think. Shooting Metal World Peace. Sh- shooting golf, I think, isn't shooting it? Shooting Metal World Peace. Nah, there you go. There you go. I reckon Meta would give us a shout out if we tagged him in this? Unlikely. Oh, we, we can try. We can put, we can put that picture up with Travis. We might get some level of. He, mate, he doesn't give a shit, does he? Nah. He might punch exactly. him. So it's either he doesn't give a shit and does something or he doesn't. So Travis, go, it doesn't. Travis is currently away shooting an ex-NBA player <laughs> in the Gold Coast. Metal World Peace, one-time world champion. There you go. And fight club World member. heavyweight champion of the world. <laughs> <laughs> but to my left, we have the half himself. Magic Matt. The what? The half. Have you not seen the latest post? Uh, hello. <laughs> nice to see you. Keep moving on. And to his left we have Jacob. Good afternoon. Moffat. How are you? <laughs> Good well. that circle. I was like, what? <laughs> yeah. And then to his left we have Justin Bourne. What's up? Is there anybody else in the house today? I don't know. Seriously. Just the house. Just the house, Red. I think there is. There is Conrad. And Steph. We forgot to mention Steph. Well, right? I think we, we always leave her out. Well, you, you, you I don't. I never leave I haven't got the end of it yet, Conrad, so who knows who I was going to mention. <laughs> Conrad, how are you? Good, I think I've missed two episodes, just in case anyone is noticed. <laughs> they have. Yes, you have, and they were great episodes. I'm just going to let you know, there's a couple of people I've, walked, I've, caught, I've caught up with over my journeys over the last week and a bit, and they do. They have, they have said they miss me when I'm not on the episode. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> so if you do miss me when I'm not on the episode, please make a comment and let me know, because I would like to know who's listening. To you, obviously. Well, if they're telling me that... What do you want me to say? I'm just giving you the feedback live. <laughs> so people live that know feedback. you are talking about you. I don't care. Don't, just, people are telling me. So how many people that don't know me still miss me? I don't know <laughs> that. I want, I want to know those people. And Stephanie, welcome as well, who's helping us out with the media and helps us out every week. Steph, Thank you, you are much. a princess. Love your work. <laughs> the best. Today, I shared a video a couple of weeks back, three weeks back, which is only five minutes long. But you can do a no, lot. No, the, the synopsis was. <laughs> you can do a lot in five minutes, though, Conrad. I could do plenty. <laughs> and, and actually, this, sorry, the drinks today. I think my daughter was <laughs> um, conceived in five minutes. The drinks today, being summer tomorrow, I have brought a lager. And can anybody see the connection with today's content? Like it brewing. It's a fucking lobster. It's a lobster on the front. That goes exactly on Conrad's shirt. It's racist. And where is that lobster content coming from, Jordan Peterson? And that is what my con- well, my content isn't about Jordan Peterson today, but it's about one of his many, um, many ideas about life in general and how you can improve your life simply. But I will open the beers. It's a lager I've never had before. Well, Jordan Peterson's first rule for life is. Stand up proud, shoulders back. It is. Or something along those lines. And he talks about the lobster and the lobster brain and physiology and how they came from. Yeah, they make themselves big and shoulders back, chest flared to show dominance and to. um, I guess. How do they they flare their chest? Cheers. Kind of cheers. Cheers. Metaphorically. Metaphorically. (laughs) Metaphorically. Metaphorically. Yeah. Salute. 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 Pedophorically. Here's to summer. Excuse me. <laughs> oh my God. 
Panda. Can It'll be an interesting <laughs> episode. Can we, can we beat <laughs> that? <laughs> it says it's it crisp, and, crisp and clean and dry, and it certainly is. It's very crisp and clean. <laughs> I actually don't think it's that crisp. I reckon it's pretty bland. It's nice. I like it. It's, it's like a pale ale, not a lager. It's not a pale ale. It's not a pale ale. It tastes like a pale ale. No, it doesn't. Crisp, clean and dry. False advertising. That's fresh. Fresh. There we go. We all like it. Tastes like lobster <laughs> pee. <laughs> okay. Seemingly lobsters <laughs> pee out of their face. Yeah. Did you know that? Yeah, I did. It's, it's, it's a stupid <laughs> fact. It's a stupid fact. It's never been used in any fucking um, quiz night I've ever been to. But, it's yeah. been used on a podcast now, though. Michael, yes. tell, tell me more about Jordan Pearson. <laughs> Are you being Travis today? He's the one that usually hurries people up with uh, content. Don't hurry it up too long, mate, because we've only got five minutes of content to discuss. <laughs> <laughs> this is just padding. <laughs> okay. One of, one of Jordan... <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. Conrad had a uh, shandy before he got here. Obviously, the lemonade's gone to his head. <laughs> bit of sugar and uh, half a beer. Really okay, really let's, go, off. let's go on the content. Getting your life together, okay? Where, where do you start with getting your life together, guys? Um, Is anyone here got their life together? Exactly. <laughs> Making your room before your bed is the fucking tip of, of whether you got your life together. My whole fucking life is falling apart. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, the idea that Jordan Peterson comes up about in regards to getting your shit together, especially if you're going to try and help other people or or move forward in your life, is start at the basics. Yeah, start- but Jock- Jocko Willink says the same thing, though. Y- yes. So what's so so what's the difference? I haven't even finished opening up this and going through the content, Conrad. Yeah. I had a premonition about this today, Conrad. Then he knew, then he knew this was going to happen, so you're ready for it? No. Oh. I'm not, because I thought it was... <laughs> it was hopeful. Didn't think it was going to happen. It wouldn't happen. But then when the beers failed, you were coming across the road, I should have known it was going to happen. Yeah. We're three beers down. Because the idea is with, um, with Jordan Peterson, and he obviously talks about Carl Jung and, and some Buddhist philosophy in this as well, where there's no difference between you and what you experience in your life, right? That is the highest like psyche, the highest sort of state that humans are. Like What you experience is you. And a lot of us, including myself, especially when I was in my 20s, had a very disorganized life. And he says, start by just sitting down in, in your home, in your workplace, if this is business related, and look around yourself and have a look at the things in your life that you could fix there and then. Like, what is it? Is it the, the, the papers under your, under your computer? Is it the, the dishes? Is it your bedroom? And if you start sorting these things out, it can soon add up. And these are things that you do every day and interact with every day. So he talks about the, the idea that starting off at the basic level of trying especially if you're trying to become better which we all should be we all should be trying to move from point a to point b start with the basics clean your room and that's kind of become a bit of a meme of his the the clean your clean your room meme but it's actually a very powerful thing it's something we've talked about on the podcast before making your bed small habits you get into because you surround yourself with chaos or with disorder that becomes who you are that becomes your life and if that adds up to like a hundred things in your life that are chaotic that, what does that equal? I mean, that equals a, a pretty, a pretty um, well, not a good place to start trying to improve yourself or trying to improve others around you. And I think a lot of this comes down to people as well that try and take on projects that are too big or try and take on missions that are too, too big when they haven't even got their basic shit sorted out. So that's kind of what I wanted to talk about today and what things in your life that you can see in your life just now that you need to get going, that you need to work, that would be quite simple things to, to, um, to improve on. Um, so, you know, what can you do to improve yourself? I mean, why bother? I've got a, a brilliant quote from, uh, it's actually another video that we'll share, not the five minute one, this one's 15 minutes, Conrad. Um, Jordan Peterson says, you know, why would you bother trying to improve yourself? So you don't suffer any, any more stupidity, stupidity than you have to, and for others around you. I mean, it's such a simple thing, isn't it? Like, you don't need to be suffering in this in this world, I mean, I don't know what your desks are like just now, Justin. What's your desk like? It looks pretty empty to me. Yeah, it's pretty empty. It's pretty tidy. Are you pretty tidy? What about your desktop on your computer? Have you got like your is it is it a 
a maze of files and folders and no it's, it's fairly well organized but there are i segment uh, segmentations so some areas are very organized and some are not yeah in my okay. life in your life around your life in at, general at home yeah i mean with this content have you been looking around at all and sort of trying to see things in your life that could be quite quick to to remedy from a from a disorderly viewpoint I think the whole concept of getting your house in order has, has may have come up in, in late um, in a few conversations of like, you know, before, you know, before you can provide advice or do stuff, yeah, make sure your shit's in order before giving that type of um, feedback or yep. coaching or whatever it is. Lots of people are out there willing to give people advice and suggestions and things of what they should be doing and um, they're not doing it themselves and uh, I've probably fallen into that trap a couple times because uh, you kind of know what you need to be doing and we, I think we were talking about this yesterday of like we kind of all know but it's is it easy or is it not but um, that's a separate conversation but I think this is and the thing that the premise on this one is that these things are the easy things yes like the cleaning the dishes because if you walk into your house and your dishes are in a constant friggin mess that is actually creating your life yeah. around you yeah? well I, so, I do agree with um, the concept where I know where Connor was going is like a, you know Jocko Tim Ferriss and a few others talked about you know make your bet every day and I've now been doing that I never used to make my bed um and I've been doing that for a year, probably a good year, year and a half straight now. Um, sometimes um, my wife gets to it before I do, but regardless, <laughs> I will make the bed. Um, cold showers, these little micro habits that I've built in. I've had a cold shower every day this year um, as well. Um, journaling kind of dribbles sometimes in terms of I, I don't do it, but otherwise it's 90%. Um, so I guess, yeah, these small, I've definitely gotten better because I used to be terrible at these things growing up as a kid teenager boy you know my room was a mess <laughs> didn't do a lot of stuff um, and I think it makes a big difference and I think I know Conrad's had a few conversations lately and I recall having a few conversations with people as well and making the simple suggestion of like the first thing of self development or self improvement or whatever is just start with yeah making your bed the, the basics because if you start aiming too high number one you're never going to do it um, especially when there's still stuff around at the bottom level that is not functioning correctly um, and it's yeah I mean I was the same as a when I met Joanne she still talks about the state of my bedroom when she, she first used to come over and I don't remember it being that bad but I look at my daughter's bedroom now and <laughs> uh, yeah enough said there but um, it is such a it, it, especially in places like your bedroom where you are what like 20 10% 20% 15 whatever percentage of your life that you are in these areas if that is dysfunctional you are well number one it's a, a, an easy improvement on your life straight away if you can sort that shit out you're up to the next level already and then you're from point A to B and then you can go to C and D and keep going and keep pushing Jacob yeah and these things compound as well like the actual act of making the bed in isolation isn't necessarily a huge thing, but it's having that nice made bed and then cleaning up your desk at work and then it just snowballs into all those additional tasks. He says a hundred things. things. Sit down yeah. and try and think of a hundred things in your life right now that you can sort out. That's it. Like Conrad would tell you, the best way to save for a house is just put a dollar in account and then a little bit more, a little bit more, and it kind of compounds and accrues over time. The same thing with habits is to just build, build one, then layer in another, then layer in another. They all kind of build and compound and snowball, and eventually that flows over into other areas in your life. I remember when I was sort of in the Army Reserve for about four years, the whole, it never made sense to me then why we had to get up at the exact same time, make our bed, have our uniform on, cleanly pressed, everything perfect. But now in reflection and listening to listening to Jocko, listening to all these guys that talk about it, it's not the making the bed, it's just the discipline of just always doing things exactly the same way so that will, it flows into your weapons drills and then when you're in the field, when you're under stress, when you're in adverse conditions, no matter what, that habit is there and you just perform, you just do it. So having the discipline to make your bed in the morning and just doing every single thing the way it should be done means that when 
it comes to actually important tasks, but you're re- the, ready to you're ready to go. Yeah, um, and that kind of makes sense now in hindsight. So you make your bed, you get in the car, you drive to work, everything's nice and tidy, and you can get started. Yep. Whereas if things are messy and cluttered, it kind of just distracts you and kind of takes away from what you're trying to achieve. Yeah, and I think a lot of the time in this podcast when we've talked to sort of more philo- philosophical type stuff, there's not really been, there's maybe been an abstraction there, but this is a really practical practical thing that you can just start straight away if you think your life, well, all of our lives probably need improving in certain areas. Um, I know with me as well, like from a relationship point of view, there's these little things that you can do every day, like the hug, the kiss, the acknowledgement, the listening. These are pretty simple things to do. And that can that can change your life, that sort of stuff. You know, yeah. if if you build that into habits, Matt, you'd strike me as somebody that never had a messy bedroom, or am I completely wrong? Well, no, you're completely right. <laughs> True. And so, is that, was that instilled from obviously your parents and and how you were brought up? Or yeah, what? I was just thinking back on that. It must have been, it would have been my mum, and and yeah, from a fairly fairly young age I would say that the like majority of days I would make my bed and now it's oh, like, as a I, kid as well he, as, yeah. a, as a kid I would make really? my bed I prefer to have my room fairly clean I mean sometimes I guess things would get on top of you and you would get a little bit um, messy and cupboards and things like that but always actually that would provide me with a bit of angst and I would, I would want to fix it I, I like to have the space clean I do in my office as well I mean if you look around right now the office here has been as messy as it's probably been in six months and it's actually a big frustration because I do feel like um, when you've got these things cleaned out and you you can work on, you can be creative, you can do other things, when, when there's noise and mess and clutter, I actually feels like it's it you down. your experience, yeah. 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 And I, I'm like that in the, the bag that I typically carry around for work. I'm like that with everything. I I like to come back and clean those things out and get them orderly. It's like when you get your car full detail, man. You feel like a king like afterwards when you're driving around. It feels good. Yeah, it's true. But it was interesting what Justin said before as well about um, not doing the things you should be doing. And you went through this before with your social media stuff. Um, your, your famous eat your own dog food mentality of, you know, here's us as... Um, you know, digital guys, web guys, social guys, telling people you must do this, 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 and this. And there's, and it's like us with our website. It's like it's at an okay level, so I'm sort of it's still yeah. gnawing at me. But but it gnaws at you, right? Because yeah. you really should. <laughs> Which be. isn't a ne- it's a very negative thing because it shouldn't be. You should be very proud of it because that's going to filter through into all the work you do. So yeah, yeah, very true. And and certainly for for social media, um, in. You know, there's many different facets, but being organised, being orderly and being planned is probably one of the best things that you could do. It doesn't matter how good or how crap or how absolutely garbage your content is, if, you've, if you're getting it out in an orderly fashion, you can improve. Processes. If you're yep. ad hoc and you're all over <laughs> the place, then all you'll end up is a mess. If you take, you know, capture you know, capture um, images and video on six different phones and you never put it in the same... Um, place to store it and if you don't tag it and if you don't do de- these sort of very basic things everything will be a mess yeah and, and it comes down to what you're aiming at as well isn't it the sort of vision of where it is you're wanting to that a to that b what is it well, and that's going to help even, you you won't be able to improve it at all because yeah. you, you don't have that foundation in play which is the same as making your bed or you know uh, we're very much the same around the house uh, i hate to see dishes piling up ever um, with the kids, I make sure that they get their stuff out of the way because it, it changes your whole perspective if things are more orderly and you've got the space and freedom to do things. Yeah. That's how I see it. I'm probably the opposite now. I've gone like from when I first met Joanne when I was 25 or so to, actually not 25, 23, to somebody that's like ultra clean in the house especially, like making the bed, making sure the dishes, the, everything's in place. So it's been a good transition and it helps your life. It does completely help your life. What about cars? Just now, it was funny. Actually, Victor, last week we went to a meeting together and he, I was so embarrassed he got in the car. It wasn't that bad, but there was, <laughs> there was dust and like shit. And 
I felt old. embarrassed. Like I felt, and he told me, like I said, I'm going to do it at the weekend. And on Monday, I said to Victor, "Man, you were right. I'm not going to do it." Because he said to me, "No, you're not. You're not going to do it." And he was right. But the, this weekend, I am going to clean my car. That is going to be my thing this weekend, and that'll make me feel good, man. And it will put you. It puts you in a different place. And if you add, as we said before, if you add that into 50, 60, 100 different things in your life that are simple to clean up, man, you are on that next stage of, of pushing forward. Yeah. In what other areas does this apply to your life, though? In that, for me, like obviously physical tidiness is one, but for me personally, fitness and health is a huge one. Is that making sure that you're looking after yourself, eating the right things, training well, taking the stairs instead of the elevator? Yeah, all these little habits kind of build up and kind of compound in that when you get up and eat a good meal for breakfast you have a lot of energy for the day when you've trained and you're feeling healthy you've got more energy for the people in your life for other activities you're doing so besides obviously tidiness what other areas do we feel this applies i know time is another one people who are really kind of fussy about their time management um have that as an area that they just keep really strict and tidy so that it kind of flows over into the rest of their life conrad um, <laughs> I, don't, I don't agree. You don't agree with what? I don't agree with it. I don't agree that it's a general premise, and I can I get it's a general premise, and it might work for the majority of people. But um, I don't have a clean desk. My bedroom is fine. It's probably pretty messy at the moment because I've just done a ton of washing from coming back. Um, my car's a fucking pigsty. Um, but what you're saying is that your yeah, life. Is. What you're saying is your life's perfect. Then is all together, and okay everything around you is messy. I'm okay with it. Yeah. You ask me where something is, I'll find it for you. And I'll I'll second that. And I don't. I like it when my things are clean. I'm not doing it necessarily for any other reason other than that's how I feel. When I, when I've got it in that state, I feel like I can. I'm in more control, and I can be more creative and do it that way. That's that's my view on it. I don't do it because someone tells me that's the, yeah. the way to do it. I do it because that's how I how how I've operated for, for twenty plus years. I mean, one of the greatest minds in our life. I mean, I don't share with you guys, but I've just put it on my social, and I'm sure um, Joshy will put it into the blog. Um, a picture of Albert Einstein's desk on the day he died. Now, one of the greatest minds the planet's ever seen. His desk was arguably. Messy. You're talking about Albert Einstein, though, here, aren't you? Yeah. So, and? Well, you, you, you're you using him as a, an That's example. example. Yeah, and his Why, desk was but messy. you're t- saying that he's up here, up here, up here. Yeah, and his desk was messy. Yeah, but. That's just one you're piece talking of the about puzzle, Albert right? Einstein. I, I, I get it. Right, but, why are you but, being but, so. But, why is it, but it's always just one piece of the puzzle, right? Because we've talked about sleep, and I don't sleep like the average person, right? My life is not as tidy as the most productive people, apparently. You know, I don't do things as the norm, and yet I'm okay. And I think I'm average. I'm, I think I'm slightly above average on, on, on most of my areas. Well, how about this one for you? You're you're in the financial field. You yep. advise people um, professionally. How yep. is your all of your financial life in in check? Is it great? Yeah. Yep. So that aspect for you, that's your making the bed. Is no, it's every- not. It's my finances. Yeah, this is one piece of the puzzle. There's finances, health, sure, tidiness. You don't have to tick all these boxes. No, but we, but we're not talking. Well, you, can, you can't say that making your bed is a, is a a um, simile or an analogy for the rest of your life. It's not. It's a task, and I get it in the way that Jocko Willenick talks about it. I get it in that way. Do your bed. You've achieved something. I get it. Come back and enjoy the bed you sleep in. I understand that. I don't get it in the way Jordan Peterson's painting it. I think he, he's not talking to people at, at your level, Conrad. He's talking about people that have got shit. I don't, but don't, okay, so I want to pull this back. What level am I on? I don't know. You tell me. Well, you're exactly right. I'm saying, well, you've, you put me on, you've said it twice in two days. My level. What is my level? What do you mean by that, Conrad? Well, you said it. I didn't say it. But you, you just literally said he, you're here and, and there. No, no, no. Average. I never said it. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I never said it. I said, I believe that aspects of my life have me performing above average. Yeah, yeah. I never put myself on a level. Okay. So I get it, I understand it, but Jordan Peterson talks about a clean bedroom and he tries to assimilate it. He's using other- that kind of, I mean, he uses that as a very practical thing, but he's also using it as a bit of a, an example of. It's, a, it's both specifically that task, but also a metaphor, I think. It can- exactly. So I don't get the metaphor. 
you really don't get the metaphor. I don't I like it. I don't, it doesn't doesn't tick a box for me. It's kind of look to. It's about starting something. It's about. No, I, it's I, not, do, I don't think it's about starting. Not as Peterson does it. As Will, as Jocko talks about it, I get it. I don't get it as Peterson talks about it. He talks about it as like getting your affairs in order before you judge the world. I get that. But I don't like the don't know, analogy. I see your point I don't, because you can't. Like there is, there's also a massive procrastination aspect to this, and I've seen this over and over again. I, I'm susceptible to it myself because I've found myself cleaning basic shit at it's times. Procrastination. It's as procrastination time. instead of doing the bigger ticket thing that I should be doing. Yeah. So it, it, I do see your point in, you know, in the which is the opposing argument. But I also, I, I get both sides. I see what you're saying, and I certainly agree with the Jocko approach. But also, Mike, and I know what Mike's doing here, Peterson's talking to people who are looking to improve their lives, and it's a, it's a starting point. Hmm. It's something to something to get yourself... Um, I don't get that. I, uh, you don't get I, that from Peterson? No, I don't get that from Peterson at all. I get that from Will Nick. Well, I, you, I don't get from Peterson. Stop brushing your teeth. Stop showering. Stop no. That's I'm, a health thing, buddy. It's the same thing, man. It's all just... No, it's not. It is. There's some people out there that don't brush their teeth, that don't hey, shower in the morning I, and see where their lives are at. I, you know what? Don't zip up your sleeping bag. <laughs> I don't sometimes. I it's pretty rebellious of me. I'm really interested <laughs> to find out where this block is and you, why you're opposing this so much, Conrad. There's I just something don't like deeper, the way There's something fucking yeah, deeper it in must, it. must be deeper. But I don't like the way it presents it. I, it's I, only a five minute video though you didn't yeah, delve any deeper into it you didn't you, look at any other you know I'm a fan of Jordan Peterson buddy you know that right so let's just play that game right I get what he would be maybe trying to say I believe in this instance he went to the masses and not where I believe Jordan can actually go and that is fucking nail points alright in this instance I don't believe he nailed it enough for me to make me fucking turned on by it I like Jocko in this instance but even if you use the, the Einstein example, is that he would have been switched on and had his other areas of his life settled and organised in order to achieve sure. what he Sure, so what do you know about Einstein's life? Very little. However... So you're making a large... Know, you're making a large assumption on Einstein's life. They yeah. are very creative and inventive and are in, in, me, in clutter, in mess. It's, yeah. it's been... It's been there's it's no not, correlation. There's him. no correlation. Productivity With is very geniuses different. like Einstein, you're talking about Einstein, yeah? It's a very different... He's got a different brain, Conrad. I, you know what? So I'm you're not going to okay. buy, so I'm you're not saying, buy the correlation you're that saying, everyone's trying to put in here. No, no, you're saying Einstein doesn't have a very different brain in, in the we way he... We know Einstein also, has a different brain. We know that. Yeah. Right, we also know well, that you Einstein, can't then use him as an example against the normal why? person then. Because he's completely well, what, different. What, what, okay, so where's, where's Peterson's brain? In his head, I think. So where would you put him on the genius scale? He is ultra, le- like he is educated. He has studied for thousands. So near Einstein or further away from Einstein? I'm not comparing him at all to Einstein. Okay, well, I'm curious because if we're going to say that Einstein's geniusness is allowing him to have a messy desk, where's, where's Jordan's gen- geniusness? In in learning and in knowing and in being very Is he a genius or not? Yes, he is. Okay, so then he's a genius. Yeah. So now what? <laughs> I'm completely lost in this one, Conrad. No, you just said Einstein's a genius. Don't, so he don't can do bring it back on. I just said. I mean, he did. You were talking about Einstein. I'm talking about the argument you were talking about. Sure. I don't get the way Peterson probably framed it. Framed what? Why are you clean your bed and use it as a metaphor for every aspect? So you can't want. even put yourself in another place, have a little bit of empathy for somebody else, and say, "I don't understand how cleaning your bed or making your life in order is going to help anybody." Can no, you tell no, me? No, 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 no. Uh, yes, yes, no, yes, no, no. yes, yes. I get why you would make your bed, and I get why you would come back to a tight bed. I get that. Okay. Well, you that's know, it. Set- that's it. But that's also a simile or a metaphor for. No, I don't get the metaphor. For having your will in place to give you financial security, or having no. your insurance no. in place, no, or no, having a as Jocko pay- says it, you make your bed so you achieve something straight away, and when you come back after a shit day, you've got something to sleep in that you would look forward to. That is it. So it's a better life the person's created by there doing that. There can be that. two different metaphors on the same. You can exactly making right. your bed. I don't agree with the metaphor that you guys are wanting to talk about. It's not just about cleaning your room. This is the thing where you're stuck on vacuuming a thing. Like Jesus, <laughs> like I mean, I, I know I know it's not about cleaning your room. I don't buy the rest of it. What's the rest? I, I don't really know what the, the rest. The metaphor of it is. for life. I don't buy the metaphor for life. 
So you think, well, okay, if you want to talk about the mental about stuff about the psyche, what you experience in everyday life is you. I agree with you. Because your your life is a that's at the higher reality. level. That's at the universal exactly right. level. Okay? But that's what I do with your fucking bedroom. It does at the fucking beginning, man. <laughs> well, can I you don't have, buy that, man. Can you have no areas of your life together and still achieve something? What of if course you can. What if you're completely unfit? You're wasting your Don't time. Your teeth. You're not doing any of this shit. Kind of your life and your affairs are not. So let's, in, so let's in, talk. Let's, in let's, areas talk, let's talk. Let's talk. Let's talk. Depends what your goals are. Yeah, exactly right. One hundred percent. So I talk about the straight way when you start talking about stuff that like question. that. <laughs> when you start talking about stuff like that, the, the, the image that came to my mind straight away was John Daly, the golfer. Yeah? <laughs> Smoked, drank, fucking debaucherous, gambled, fat fuck. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah, was the number out. one. Yeah, was the number one fucking golfer in the world. Tell me, he had a clean fucking bedroom. Tiger Woods had it his life in order. It was full of fucking burgers. I betcha. Tiger Woods have his life in order. Exactly. Michael, right. no. Michael Jordan have his life in order. No. So let's play this game. Oh, calm down now, for fuck's well, sake. Well, come on, let's play it. Nah, you. I knew where that word yeah, okay, that was so going when you asked that question. <laughs> okay, so you're saying you can transcend that and fuck out, you can. Transcend what? Cleaning your bedroom. Exactly. But in what order? Like John Daly, for example, he had he had to do something to get to where yeah, he was. Yeah, he went and fucking golf balls. Yeah. So in terms of the yeah. golfing specific analogy, you he, went, clean bedroom. he went to the range. He mm. hit thousands of balls. Yeah. He so drew, so drew his so, golf. so talk to me. He had his golf. Do you think he order. worried about his bedroom? You cannot win championships without having your golfing. He had game some shit in order, order in his life. Sure. As did Michael Jordan. The equivalent sure. for him it's of clumsy, making yeah. the bed the yeah. was fucking going to the range and hitting balls. That's not where we're going with this. Well, I now know. you're trying to make it fit your argument, and oh. I won't play that game. Well, you're trying to break the argument. Of course, I time. Why? Because I don't like it. Because he wants to get past five minutes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he just yeah, he's just fucking enjoying it, isn't he? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. At least he's not with Justin as his tag partner this time. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm on both sides. But... <laughs> <laughs> well, like you said, Matt, I can see both sides of the the equation and the, the argument. But asking the question of like who's achieved stuff without having their shit in order, there'd be hundreds and thousands. <laughs> but I think, but I also see Peterson's point. Like I started with, I and and I do somewhat also agree. Jocko puts it maybe more clearly and simply to the masses. But I think where Peterson is going is also equally true like getting your shit in order before you do whatever I think is extremely important in today's world uh, particularly and coming off the conversations we had like last podcast which you weren't here before Conrad around the whole social media thing and this highlight reel and all this other stuff you know it's easy to portray this stuff without actually sorting your own shit out first it's like it's it's just extreme accountability. It's just extreme ownership. That, that's all it is. To the task. But you can't, to, to the task you're trying to achieve. Yeah, but yes. you can't let it stop you. So I read an article, uh, which I thought was a great article, and the, um, we should reference it, and probably a couple of the quotes in there by Taylor Pearson. And it was about even referencing... Was, was that the person that wrote the blog or the person that took the photo? It was... Um, <laughs> <laughs> He's got, he he's, he's, who wrote he's got some great content. Because yeah, I actually could. got the um, I got the email from him. But yes, um, Mike Mike from Pixabay may well have <laughs> Mike well had a photo in there, the real Mike. Uh, but so the article said, and it actually referenced um, Jeff Bezos as well, uh, that you you if you've taken action or you have to take action when you have about seventy percent of the information. If you, if you take action before that, you've probably jumped the gun. Uh, and if you take action after that, you've waited too long. And I see that in, this, is, this is what this can lead down to as well. Like, so I, I'm very much with Jordan and what he's saying. And then you want to, you know, you've got, you've got to start somewhere, get yourself into, a, you know, into some form of stability. But you can't, you can't go to the nth degree with it. So you write these hun- like 100 things is probably too much. Because if I write the 100 little things down that are... A problem for me right now, so I need to switch a couple of Telstra accounts. I You've got three hundred things going on. I've got three hundred things, right? But if I get the hundred little things like that right now, if I put my focus into those hundred, I'm probably screwed midterm. 
So you've let it build up, though, yeah? Because a lot of these things could have been no, done along the way, I suppose. They could have, but I've also been doing So I'm saying that habit of, of doing these little things but see, down do, the track over a long term are going to are gonna help. But if you... If you tidy your room, you would have the practice to do the hundred things here. Yeah, but if you rewind that, I've been tidying my room for 20 years. So if I've got stuff lying out... So just, but yes, you've got to move on from your bedroom. <laughs> Okay. Jordan, Jordan didn't say that. Jordan didn't say that. Didn't need to. Okay. So I've got, I've got several hundred things that I could focus on right now. Small tasks in my business that would say fifty bucks or eighty bucks. Maddie, Maddie, can, can I ask you a question? I can't. If I focus on them, can I'm I screwed. can I ask you a question? Yeah. If having a fucked up bedroom, messy as all fuck, gave you the freedom in your rest of your life, what would you choose? bedroom I'd like to get my bed in order <laughs> I think there, there's the argument you know, you, you've but, talked about this before Justin about but, that email there's, 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 that there's, thing, right. that if you thing. get your shit in order someone else can make the bed for you 100% that's my goal bro <laughs> I don't want to do it watch my fucking sleeping bag <laughs> bitch <laughs> yeah, that's a good but in your case, what I would do is I would just get this. I get a fishing rod, and I would, I would get a little mechanical. Um, put a motor on the side of your washing machine, and just I'd put a put a hook into the sleeping bag, and you can just drag the sleeping bag all the way down the hall and up and into the, uh, yeah, into you the washing want, machine. You wouldn't want to touch it. I get just <laughs> clean. I get directly. They give me a little bag for it and everything. I think they put your bag in the bag. Yeah. But didn't you get a bag when you bought it from Kmart? I don't know what's gone. Oh. Do we all agree that people who golf, basketball, any area of their life who have ch- achieved great success have had at least that area of their life in order. Yeah, and I would argue that most of them have, like, they don't have the perfect balance. If they've achieved great success, they've got a couple of major pillars or at least one major pillar where they've fallen down. I think you have to. I don't think you can have complete ultimate balance. If you're going to achieve in one area, you're failing somewhere else. 100%. It's you're just going to drop impossible. The ball, drop the ball somewhere. Imagine what John Daly could have been if he stopped drinking. He was fucking... the number one golfer in the world. What do you want him to be? For how long? Like, but that's what he wanted. Month. But you had, do you think it's... I don't know. How good a life's he had recently from a... He's come back and won another tournament. He's, he's won number yeah, four yeah, in the yeah. world right now. But how low did he get? His injuries held him back more than his fucking oh. sexuality. Nah, nah, he went down hard on... Of course he did, but yeah. his injuries are what held him back at the moment. If he'd that's made that's very bed. well documented. If he made his bed. <laughs> I tell you what, if, if those scrags made their bed. Right? Cause he, when they left, make your bed when you leave. Come on. Where that room? <laughs> yeah, so these guys... Wash the sheets at the same time. <laughs> they stay in a hotel. Someone else made his bed yeah. every day. <laughs> Exactly, see? So the bed was made, you see, the whole time. He didn't do it. So these guys at this elite level had at least one area of their life where things were, the pro- were made by the properly ladies. lined up. I think one of the aspects I got from Jordan Peterson is that for people who don't have anything, who are struggling with their job, their relationship, their life, etc., in order to get them on track, and like Tony Robbins talks about a lot, just to start that one thing that starts to cascade and build up, that's what makes. And I agree with you, but the, I mean got, for them, I got that out of Jocko cl- more clearly than I got it out of Jordan Jordan Peterson. I think specifically the bed analogy, Jocko does a better job. Yeah, because well, it's not. The, so now we've got two. We've got three people that the agree with The bed is just a, a part of it. Well, Jordan's not even. He doesn't even mention making the bed. He talks about cleaning the room. Because <laughs> he knows Jocko's got a bit on the bed piece. Yeah. Yeah. And it talks about like, the cleaning your room. room. It's just a metaphor for like getting your shit together and getting things sorted yeah, just to enable mind, you to... Oh, you must admit that getting your shit together is not a bad thing, yeah? I, I, you know what? I'll, I'll give in to this argument at the point as long as there's a goal to be achieved. So talking finance then, you get people that come to you and they're fucking finance No, I want, them, I want them to leave me to do it. So you get their shit together. Yeah. But they're still going to spend. Yeah? That's still them paying you to get their shit together. Hey? That's still them paying you. Yeah, they're not outsourcing. They're not doing it. But you want to get habits in their, ingrained in their life to help, yeah? That's their spending habits. I, 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 they can keep their fucking other shit as messy as possible. I'll do it. But like paying an accountant to do your taxes is getting your shit together. Paying a financial... I just, I just, I take, him, I just take him a shoebox full of shit and give it to him. Is that getting it together? Yeah, you don't have oh. to... Do it yourself, PT, and it's still taking it? responsibility for it. Like yeah, we it's all taking responsibility. We that's are all ultimately all responsible all for our lives. Take you don't my, have to. my washing to my account and can follow that for me. In, in theory, like if you watch the talk, when you think about it, that's what Peterson is essentially just 
is encouraging people to take responsibility for their shit. And he talked about people yeah. around you will then start to try and tear you down or potentially or give you the other way. And you just have to, if your goal is to improve your life in that moment, again, I, I also agree, it comes back to the goal and the outcome. If the moment is just a small increase, make your room, tidy your bed, make your bed, blah, blah, blah. Um, but, you know, then you start from, and then I do agree with where Jordan goes because what Jordan then talks about is that enables you to get from point A to point B. Then once you're at point B, you've got now a tidy room, you've achieved some stuff, whoopie fucking do. Then you go from B to C. Then you go from C to D. But uh, Peterson just talks into the context of just the good. But that same applies for a goal, and I think it depends like what area of your life it is. But if you're gonna like if you're gonna start a business tomorrow, there's the steps you need to take. So if you're gonna start a business tomorrow, the goal is to get the business off the ground. But trust me, your health will be fucked, your relationship will be challenged, uh, you won't make to the gym, your finances are fucked, um, all for the goal of that startup. But your bed will be made. Well, maybe it won't be. (laughs) Your bed will be sold. (laughs) You have to sell it. So we're gonna let, we'll get the start sleeping let's in get the sleeping bag. out. So Mike, ten years time, yep. Jordan's Jordan Peterson's YouTube video has blown up the internet. Yeah, well, it has. This so one? No, no, no. It's legit. Which one? Blo- this one? I actually, blo- blown up the internet. Literally blown up the internet. internet. Five minutes worth. Every single person in the world is making. It, it, governments <laughs> have legislated it. <laughs> Every, every single person in the world has to make slated. their bed and clean their room every day. <laughs> you talk, what, you're what, talking what, utopia, what aren't does, you? What does the world look like? Oh, it's a beautiful place, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Not even the man can tell Conrad to make his bed. <laughs> Conrad's in jail. <laughs> <laughs> in his sleeping bag, sitting there, just hanging, waiting to transform again. <laughs> Conrad, to transcend. Conrad Mandela's. <laughs> That's a, you brought up a good point, Justin, that Jordan talks about as well. And other, because I went deeper and looked at he's got thousands of hours of stuff on I love um, Jordan Peterson bro no, I know. just don't like this piece <laughs> hate him um, Jordan he hates you Conrad Francis from Perth hates you he's the dark one that's stalking you right now when you listen to this but he talks about you've got to be careful with improving yourself because the people around you will start judging you and will fuck them mate t- fuck them but he, no he says that if you're, yeah. in a, if you're in a family of like people that are just you, fucking, but you want to be judged don't you I don't know, maybe. Yeah, if you are. Yeah, yeah, you're definitely. doing some shit that people know. Well, they'll try to drag you back down. Yeah, though, good yeah. luck on that. But I'm just saying that is that is part of the But you'll have a clean room, I won't. You might, you might survive. <laughs> do you understand the point I'm trying oh, to I make? I do, yeah, yeah, yeah. Justin. But it's it's easy. <laughs> easy to forget the people around you? No, to uh, just make a decision of not allowing them to get in. Oh, no, <laughs> I know, I know we just like, know that you fucking cop. <laughs> No, no, but it's 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 true. Like and this is um, what you want. Like, what do you want? Is yeah. You know, but again, well, you the goal. Like, it's got to be strong enough for the desire of 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 that, and you got to risk the the isolation. And yeah, yeah, you know, embrace the, the like isolation. It. Don't risk it. I mean, and that's the thing. Most of this shit's fear based, right? Mm. Okay, and and, and the, what we know about fear, you just got to embrace it. Don't risk it. Dance with fear. It doesn't exist. You can't dance with you. Just fucking dance with your shadows. How do we get all the fear from fucking mate? Not making your bed. You brought it up. No, I did not. <laughs> Literally just talked about it. After oh, five minutes, it but was you right. Will, it was yeah. silence, and then we had I to mean, talk about something. So it's fear. You will be judged, and you've got to fight that resistance. That resistance of is be there. Judged. Um, and it, it, again, it comes back to the goal. Like John Daly wanted to be the number one. He didn't give a fuck of what anyone else thought about it. Do you know what we don't know exactly yeah, no, about his know. life? Do we? Yeah. We don't know John Daly's life. You know what from the media has told you? From what they told me. I know that exactly. So I mean, this whole story is. Conrad. Of course it's a story, Mike. You like, could have had the fucking best bed in the world, John. We don't Daly. know what Jordan Peterson's fucking bedroom looks like either. He no, bed John, is pretty good. John Daly's had three and a half thousand beds as he's, <laughs> yes. as he's travelled the world. Exactly, yeah. Well, that's good. But it depends on the reference point of what you define as good. I want to see a picture of John Daly's, but not Jen, John Daly, of Jordan Peterson's bedroom, just to validate his expertise. Well, he's there. It's made. <laughs> <laughs> he's been through a lot of suffering eh? he's had massive anxiety mental issues all the way through he speaks his life. like it <laughs> Ooh. Jeez. do Just, I speak like it? no you speak like you're a porn star <laughs> the half <laughs> the I speak like I'm a porn star but how does a porn star speak? listen to yourself <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't it's not that I've ever watched any porn, but he does not say. He's not on a speaking of porn. Yeah. <laughs> right, how did this degrade into? All right, uh, what's what time are we on? Is it five minutes yet, Conrad? 
don't know. Five yeah, like minutes further than you want to be. <laughs> Oh, okay, we're we're down to checking the time. Let's quickly go around and see. And you're going to freaking join us in this one, Conrad. Okay, one, 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 le- <laughs> one, <laughs> pen out. one, le- <laughs> Sorry. I'm real scared, dude. Throw it at me. Yeah. One little thing in your, One th- little thing in your life that you could do every day that will improve it a little bit, Justin. Uh, well, like I said, I shared at the start. I have started making my bed, never done it um, in the last, you know, I've started making my bed in the last 12, 18 months. Cold showers are huge. They're really good. One um, thing, Justin. And no, one, 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 new thing, one thing around you right now that you need to do, not oh, so two years ago. Like now that you can see in your life, if anything. I suspect there's a couple. Uh, relationship, family, kitchen, car, hair. Underpants. Well, I doesn't wear any. Yeah, I don't wear any. Free bowling. Nah, I <laughs> response. Uh, repl- re- like uh, getting back to people. Okay. Like uh, I just uh, same with uh, emails and and messages. I'm so you're better than Hannah. You're better than Hannah. I'm a terrible. But responder. challenge accepted for the next week or so. Yeah. To respond quickly. Yeah. Sure. Jacob. That's that shit. That's not <laughs> I reckon that shit. Can you get back to me pretty quickly? It's not a daily habit, mate. The only other daily, daily habit is um, what can what what bugs you okay. every day that you see that you yeah. know that you should that's be that's doing. That's a good question, Mark. That I should be doing. Yeah. Well, one thing that I've been wanting to do for a long time is um, that I've been on and off is a uh, night routine. So um, I have don't that's I've exactly been wanting to do a night routine. So exactly what I was. Journal, uh, 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 on and off uh, so like journal reflect on the day and then plan out what I want to do for the next day and do you feel guilt because you're not doing it just you now? Yeah, journal? Feel, yeah I do journal in the morning oh. though but not in the evening like, and on and off in the evening like so once what, what, a fortnight what's your evening routine just now? Uh, d- depends uh, on average it'll be uh, if you had the time if you were at home or whatever and you had that three hours well typically it's kind of work and then go to bed and that's it um, otherwise it would be um, hang with the wife then sit in bed read and then go to bed so the, the ultimate routine would be kind of shut off about an hour before going to bed journal write down what I need to do for the next day uh, read for a while and then go to bed why? Yep. why? yeah oh uh, oh, fuck. The dirty we, word. We really, all right. That's a dirty <laughs> word. What are you talking about? Dude, say that Mike says it. Why? Oh, Why? It just Why? reminds me of Kevin Spacey from House of Cards. Why? 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 <laughs> Why? Put me in the same bed as Kevin Spacey, please. Just, oh, please just, don't put me in the same bed as Kevin the, the simple, The simple Why? answer <laughs> is... <laughs> There are so many things that I want to do and at the end of the day are overwhelmed of like, oh, I should have done this, should have done that. And the times that I have actually done it, I feel much more at ease of like, I know what I need to get on to, with it. It's, it's essentially, it's a it's a download of the brain that I find with the journaling so I, piece. I get it, right? Yes. But instead, you've gone and done shit. What do you mean? Yeah. Because you've worked right up until the last minute instead of just reflecting on it. And I, I, I do value that too. But the truth is you've actioned more things. Yeah, but I also don't think that's a, um, it's sustainable. I'm not that productive in the evening anyway, so it's it's a catch twenty two. So like it's yeah. I mean, you're talking as if he's like boom, 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 right to bed, and then it's not like that every day. But I I think he is. I because correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't the tail end of that work where you're you get the most achieved? You procrastinate a bit during the night, and you've got a short period left, and you're smashing out work, and you get it done. Yeah, we've talked that, about this before. But that's part of what I want to break. Which is like, if I had just uh, done them earlier in the day, uh, I wouldn't have to work in the evening. So why don't you switch that more, that evening routine to have dinner and then do that little bit of reflection and then you get that work done? Why does that have to be at the end? The reflection. No, and the, the quick bit of reading, etc. Why don't you do that earlier? Uh, or maybe you could try doing that earlier. I could, but I guess it comes back to, which is, I guess, a conversation... It's one of those things of the multiple studies of blah, 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 that, uh, you know, you shouldn't, uh, you know, uh, be in front of the computer, blue light, blah, 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 all this to get better rest, to maximize in the effectiveness of rest, and that's the flow on effect. Oh, so, it's all shit. Yeah, yeah. Fuck. Fuck. Yeah, yeah, don't ask no, this guy. No, yeah, no, exactly. Yeah. No, but I'm on that point as well, because I know, look, I've had this conversation with myself as well. I uh, thought about this. Do you agree with uh, yourself or do you go against yourself? Um, bit of both. <laughs> Depends on if I'm um, you know, in a peak or a plateau. 
Very cool. <laughs> Perspective is important. No, but the, the point is, because if you weren't a little bit behind in everything that you were trying to do, then you'd be upset at yourself that you're not doing enough. But I'm always behind. And I've come so to I. learn to accept that. So the idea of the download you're is... You're always behind, behind a goal anyway. How the fuck are you going to be ahead of a goal for that long? Well, you're always behind. There's always, always behind. You're always moving the goalpost, right? Are you? I mean, I know I do. Yeah, there's always stuff to do, which is... Um, look, you're 100% right. The routine could be after dinner, right? The the order of whatever could... Uh, I think we're splitting hands, though. I think he's, he's talking yeah. about night routine. I think I buy that. And how he does it is... I, are we, are we I, I agree. I'm just saying, I think, I feel like that potentially you don't necessarily need to do that. You just feel like you should be doing that. But is that what you need? But you figure it out, won't you? Try but it. But I guess it. that's the whole point of like making the bed too, really. You could just full circle on that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do, do, you, do you make the bed before you get in it? <laughs> yeah, at the end, no, of, the, at the end of the day. <laughs> yeah, no, imagine no. if fucked would be if you were getting into a messy bed. Yeah. He checks at night time. <laughs> oh, yeah, me bed this morning. But, you know, you could full circle that. And again, what's, you know, what's the point? And I, and I think it's one of those things you, you try and build the habit. Like with journaling, I started out going, this is kind of pointless, blah, blah, blah. Same with like <laughs> gratitude, you know. Um, you and every other person started journaling. Yeah, meditation <laughs> and stuff like that. Um, uh, but then you stick at it for, and it goes on and off. Um so, yeah, I mean, but anyway, that's the habit that um, and the positive progress piece that I would like to do. Let's do it. The night night routine, a little bit more structured, I guess. Um, Sorry, I dragged that one out. You did. Yeah, I can answer one really, really, really fast. I don't, floss, I don't floss every day. <laughs> that's it, yeah. Well, it would, would it improve your life, though? Probably. Improve your dental bill down the track. Dental health is pretty important, so it is. (laughs) Well, Conrad doesn't brush his teeth, so... Who the fuck said that? (laughs) I spent that much money on dental bills over the last month. I have to do it 20 20 fucking times a day. (laughs) 20 times. 20 times a day. What about you, Jacob? Uh, Reading. I listen to podcasts or audiobooks in the car on the way to and from work, but... Physically sitting down with a book and reading is something that's. Thank God you said a book. I thought you could say Instagram. It's, <laughs> it's him. He's well, got that sort of. We've got to get over that guy. He's got, he's got, got, he's got, he's got a new uh, subscription yeah. to Hustler magazine. Cruising <laughs> is a dirty word. <laughs> um, but well, like, why is that? Is, do you feel? Is again? Is there a guilt? Is there something that's? Um, it's. It's partially the idea that kind of readers are leaders, and that some of the most. I love that. Yeah. That some of the. <laughs> You've never heard. <laughs> I fucking think I said it on this podcast. <laughs> oh, oh, that's your point. <laughs> Trademark. <laughs> Copyright, Conrad. I'm sorry. I'll give you a... Um, uh, did, I a think you said, was it you that said, I have a dream? <laughs> <laughs> I've stood in the same shoes as him on the stairs. You're too far away from the mic. That's okay. <laughs> yeah, I know reading is important, I but I don't prioritise it. It's kind of always the last thing to happen, and, and like most last things to happen, it doesn't happen. You could combine that with Henry's reading time. You could read them like... Oh, I've tried. If there's not pictures on there, or there's too many <laughs> words... He doesn't even like cat the hat, cat the hat <gasps> at the moment. Like oh, okay. The words to picture ratio gets him like fucking fired up. <laughs> Harry, He's not ready. Harry S. Truman. Quote, not all readers are leaders, but all leaders are readers. Harry is swaggy, was it? What was it? Harry S. Uh, Mike, so what's your thing? My thing, and if I go in and out of this, which I shouldn't, I <laughs> shouldn't be doing this, but um, it's just um, what I talked about before, like the kiss, the hug to the kids, to the wife every day, like making it, not making it a routine, just making it, well, man, making it a routine, making it part of everything because, you know, we're tired, we make dinner, we watch TV, like, da 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 take the dog for a run. And then it's like, suddenly you're waking up in the morning, it's like, that's something I really need to work on. How quickly it's, does that turn a day around, though? Like, if you've just had the biggest, shittest day in the world and you get home and there's a, hey, honey, how's your day? Like, hey, yeah, like a smile or oh, a... Oh, man, it's a powerful child stuff. And I need home. to make that, like, that's from tonight, man. <laughs> that's it. Yeah. You know, we're probably all guilty of it. You know, oh, the, yeah. the hug, all, all the, life's challenges fade away when that, especially when your, when your kids or your like, kids smile like, or say I love I you. How old is he? like two, just under two, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. And a half. Yeah, pretty much. My kids are like 18 and 15, and yeah. you kind of, you don't become blase, that's the wrong word. You just, and which, like, I mean, there's a lot of laughter and fun, and there's hugs and there's I love yous and stuff like that. 
but I need to take it to a different level. Yeah, you can, no. Over time, you take it for granted. You do. And it's a terrible thing. A terrible thing. I'm, I'm with you, Justin. I want to change my evening routine. What would it look like? Trying to get to bed at a regular time. Okay. Earlier or just consistent? Just consistent. What time? I think it's set for 11. I get my okay. reminders, but I never make 11. Why not? What takes you over? Usually. Content. Doing stuff. Reading. Uh, ironing your sleeping bag. <laughs> he struggles with the zipper. It takes him an hour, <laughs> an hour and a half. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes I don't actually zip up because <laughs> when you want to go to the bathroom, hard. it's really fucking hard. That's the problem with sleeping in a sleeping bag. You take the bag with you. You just need one with a bit of a cutout. <laughs> And what, <laughs> what impact on your life would a consistent bedtime make? Uh, I'm, just, I'm just curious. Okay. So do if it, it will do anything. Do it for I'll, a few weeks, test it. Yeah, because and, 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 I've done the whole sleep for six hours thing and tested... Um, what was that doctor that came on here? <laughs> Martin, <laughs> Martin McPhil me up. I, try, I tried the six-hour thing and tried to measure somewhere along my life where I could demonstrate 30% extra. And I'd, how, long, how long did you try? Uh, since he came on here? Okay. How long has that been? It's been a few weeks. A few weeks. A few, yeah, months. a few months. So his recommendation was so eight or nine hours, hours. and you've just gone out six? No, he said six hours. He goes, if you get six hours, you'll get 30% better, more productivity in your life. And I, I, I challenged it then, and I've, I'll challenge it even more now. For the average person, maybe. I don't know. But when maybe you, the average person with a clean room and um, in a life in order might get uh, when you're already, more when you're, productivity in life. I, when I don't you're know. optimized, <laughs> just no, more, already no more capacity to find. <laughs> yeah, so just, you're just, I'm just keen to just try it out. Yeah. So getting to bed at the same time. Yeah, because I'll, I'll get up by fucking five o'clock, no matter what time I go to bed. That's a stupid thing. Yep. What are you so going to yeah. have to do differently to consistently go to bed at 11? Put myself into bed. Good stuff. Yeah, stop, stop. So those things that you would usually do to busy yourself before bed? I don't do anything busy myself. But I'm, I'm pretty much done and dusted by about 9, 10 o'clock usually if I'm home. So are you chilling, bit of TV? No, I don't watch TV. No, just reading YouTube content. So you're watching TV on the computer? Well, it's, it's not the television. Same, same. <laughs> it's not TV. So you're, you're consuming content? Yeah. Would you consume content and then go straight to bed or do you have that half hour? Or yeah, because I love sometimes it just fucks up with your dreams. So I love that stuff. <laughs> I reckon I'm, I'm really, I'm really wild on what those dreams might look like. Particularly after I have a Bowen session, and I know my dreams are going to be really, really fucking weird. So I, I love consuming some really strange content then. A what session? A Bowen session. I have a Bowen session every four to six weeks, which is massaging out the Chinese meridian lines and stimulating the body, uh, the muscle fascia to repair itself. Well, that's, that's, that's what you should be going to bed thinking is like, if I go to bed an hour earlier, I've got a deeper dream that I can get into. Like, yeah, yeah. I, I love going to bed. I like That's exciting but, but for me, I, getting I, in and going to if sleep. If you guys have never had it, if you ever go for a bowling session, I guarantee your dreams are okay. fucked up that night. Good. To next level fucking crazy dream shit. Happy ending? <laughs> no, usually by myself. In my sitting bag. Matt. Matt, Matt, Matt. I already did mine. Did I jumped in. I did set. too. Yeah, I, I have to invite myself to answer that question too. I'm not sure you noticed, but... Yeah. No, you didn't I invited you? Did you? No, you didn't. No, you didn't. I don't know. Mike, Mike's had in for me ever since I challenged him on this topic. <laughs> since you came in with such a negative attitude at the beginning. Just, I just question life, Mike. I just question life. I, guess, I think I can Keep hear questioning. Music. music. <laughs> like at the end of a TED talk. <laughs> <laughs> Get off. All right, thank you. Thank you, Matt, Conrad, Jacob, Justin, and Travis who's not here and Marco who's still not here hello Marco we haven't mentioned Marco for a little while he'll be feeling sad champagne goodbye <laughs>